Flat Out 2, a racing game developed by Bugbear Entertainment from the people who made the original Flat Out as well as more, the more recent Wreckfest, released June 29th, 2006 for Russia, June 30th for Europe, and August 1st for North America. It was released on the platforms for PC, PS2, and Xbox. In Flat Out 2, there's primarily the career mode, general just racing, and the party game mode that you can play with your friends. In the career mode, there are three classes of cars, derby, race, and street. Each class of cars have their own leagues you can play in. For example, there's the derby league, the race league, the street league, each have their own cups to race in. They also have their own events that you can participate, but they are not necessary to progressing throughout the game. There is also the Championship League, which has four cups. One cup for each of the previous leagues, as well as a final Championship Cup after you complete all other cups. Each of the three main leagues have three levels within them. After completing each level, you unlock cars that you can buy and use. The events generally are just the party games from the party game mode, as well as some relevant extra events for each of the leagues. For example, the Derby League has Destruction Derby, the Race League has races like figure eights and such, and the Street League has more professional-like racing tracks and more of the party games. Flat Out 2 also has an upgrade system for the cars that you own. You can upgrade your top speed, your acceleration, your handling, the strength, the weight, as well as the nitrous. In the upgrade system, the top speed is for top speed, the acceleration is for acceleration, the handling is for how well your car can turn, the strength is how much damage your car can take, the weight is... the weight is more tricky, it, can, it determines how well you fly through debris, as well as how much damage you deal to other cars, as well as how much damage cars de deal to you. And nitrous is just how effective your nitrous is. Some of the things I enjoyed about Flat Out 2 is that the environment is really fantastic. It's really destructible and the graphics themselves hold up pretty okay to modern standards. The physics are also pretty fun as well. I have also noticed that none of the tracks are particularly bad. Most of them are pretty good in fact. The Final Cup is a pretty fun way to cap off the game in the career mode. It takes parts from all the events from all the different cups, so you'll do Destruction Derby, you'll do Figure 8 Racing, you'll do actual uh, racetrack racing, and it's really good. The racing is also really enjoyable once you get used to how the game controls. Flat Out 2 isn't without its issues in the game. Uh, sometimes the AI will just get super aggressive out of nowhere. Sometimes when you hit a car or a car will hit you, you guys will just get stuck together. Uh, some cars just won't fucking turn sometimes. And now this is getting a little bit more complicated. Small debris can really fuck up light cars. Heavy cars don't really have this issue, but if you're driving a small car and you run over a plastic cone, you, there's a good chance you might just get ejected off to the side. The game also has rubber banding in it, and it's very noticeable, but it does invoke a sense of pack racing. What I mean by pack racing is that you're always on the chase, whether you're in, you know, second through eighth, or you're always running away, whether you're in first or second, if you're just settling for second. You would also think that street cars are slower than the race cars, but that isn't the case. Although the street cars do look nicer than the race cars themselves. And another nitpick of mine is that the street league AI, mostly the, uh, blue truck lady uh, are just assholes in general. Overall, I find Flat Out 2 to be very enjoyable. Uh, I did play this a lot as a kid and a teenager, and I'll say that it's still fun after all these years. It did take me about 15 hours to beat the game. Uh, beat the game as in I completed all the cups and about 60% of all the events. You can get the game on Steam or GOG for PC, or you can try your luck for a PS2 copy or an Xbox copy. Uh, I will do a follow-up video for Flat Out Ultimate Carnage because it is just a re-release of Flat Out 2 with more things, upgraded graphics, and it was re-released on Xbox 360 and PC, which is games for Windows Live. So there's a little bit of a wall there. Uh, but overall, I will say I recommend this.